Hello everyone. Welcome back to Jolly Molly Crafts. Today we have another fun unboxing video. Been on a little shopping spree lately and I got another diamond painting kit. So you ready to take a look at it? Let's dive in. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it was an Oz. Let's see. Okay. All right, let's just dive in. Let's see, where's, where's the crinkle? Where does it open? Here we go. Okay, pardon for the noise. I just love diamond painting. Don't you? It's so relaxing. Oh, just makes all the stress and worries of the day go away. Oops, stuck. So let's pull out the diamonds. There's a lot of diamonds. Okay, we have our regular toolkit, which consists of one diamond pen. There's no attachment. Okay, the small tray, standard wax, and about mm, four bags inside. Not a lot of bags, but that's your basic toolkit. All right, so we have the pretty diamonds. Aren't they pretty? And we'll get into those in a little bit, but let's take a look at the canvas. Okay, are we ready? This has got a lot of dark on it. Let's see what this is. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Oh, it's, oh, it's a long one. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to have to turn it. Does anybody know what? Let's just do this. Does anybody know what this is? It's Aladdin. It's a long one. Look at this, guys. Look how long this is. Will it fit in the whole camera? Just look at that long. It's a 30 by 75 centimeter. But let's just do that. Isn't that cool? It's Aladdin with a stained glass look. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, let's take a look at the canvas. There's a crease there we gotta worry about. Let's see if I can get that out. It might be just the plastic. So let's go on this side. Nice and sticky. Okay, I'll do to where it was. And then take it back. Oh. Got my little wrapper on the end stuck in because it was so long. Okay. Yeah, it's harder with the longer ones. I will definitely be doing parchment paper on this. I'm just going to do it this way. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, definitely going to be doing parchment paper on one this long. That was the ones from me. It's in the top. There's a couple rivers of glue here, which I'll have to take a knife or the tip of my pen and pop those and push the glue down. But overall, it's in it's in pretty good pretty good shape. The center crease might need to be. Um, oops. Yeah, don't do that. This paper is only good on one side. Yeah, it doesn't come off easily if you accidentally get it on the other side, which is why I don't like to deal with it. I like to deal with the parchment paper. But this crease in the middle, right here, right here could be an issue. So what I'll have to do 
is I will have to take the plastic off, put parchment paper down, and see if this will come out at crease in the middle. And I think it will. And then lay it flat. It may need to do the ironing. I need to do a separate video on ironing because I could do a very low temp iron very carefully on this if I need to. The rest of it's in good condition. Just need to take care of that center. It was just creased too much, I guess, in the package. And it's got a little river of glue there too, which I can, I think I can salvage that. You want to take care of the rivers before you actually start the project because this could cause your drills to pop up, which would not be fun. But overall, this looks really good. I think I can fix that one area. Isn't that cute? Very cute. All right, let's flip it over and let's look at the drills. Yeah, I don't want to keep playing with that one. Okay, one more crinkle noise here. Sorry about this. No way to avoid it. Done. Okay, and I learned on their chart here that's 25 colors and they have this DMC code over here but on their package and again this is from Amazon this number here 23 corresponds to that 23 there so even though this is must be their kit number like B290-23 and then another number that 23 represents this 23 right there so they don't put the DMC codes on these at all it is on the chart but not on the thing so let's just do it the back way because you can see the colors better lots of 310 lots of 310 equivalent look at that black and then a really cool purple blue it's got kind of a watermelon Kind of a rust, a peach, lavender. You see though, you can tell that there's a lot of other color drills mixed in with these. So their sorting machine might have leftovers from the previous batch that get left in there. So you just gotta be careful that you don't accidentally pick one of those up. So when you dump them into the tray right away basically you have to sort through them for trash and then multiple colors like that pearl one right there that blue one so they they must not clear out their machine a hundred percent there's stragglers that are left in that section of the machine before they go and bag the next kit not not a deal breaker not a deal breaker we can deal with that so those are the pretty colors of the kit. This will be fun. I do love the stained glass designs. I think they're just really fun, really pretty. Get all those off. And then let's take one last look. Oh, upside down. At Aladdin, look at him. All the way up, all the way up. And there he is. Isn't he cute? Well, this will be fun. I'll definitely keep you in the loop. And when we start this progress, we'll do work in progress videos to update you on this one. Give you little tips and some additional videos coming out. But this one's gonna be a fun one to work on and we'll do it together. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Jolly Molly Crafts for more fun craft videos and also click like that way YouTube can see that people like or don't like the videos and I hope to see you next time here on Jolly Molly Crafts. Take care. Bye bye.